Oh yeah, relaxing beginning to the Sunday. Get out of here, you jaggle. Task number one is going to be 20 minutes of studying. Because I did zero studying throughout the week. There's a cat in the yard. The cats are having none of this. Trauma in the kitty house. Some kitty excitement around here today. Eh? Sniffing buddies? Or he's like, I'll throw down. Can you stop here? Oh yeah, she's like, I'll come in there and fight you guys. And we're just like, I'll get you a piece here. You want one? You want one of these? You want one? Kitty visitor, hey? One kitty throw down over here. <laughs> you know what, Ori? That's it. Nobody bullies my kitties. Better check your sh little kitty. Nobody bullies my kitties around here. Get out of here. One chapter down. I want to read one more chapter today and then I'm done studying for the day. I'm actually crushing through this book right now. So pretty pumped about that. Uh, I'm going to take a little break, cook some fish and then do some other things. I'm going to get my vacation life together here. One week from today, I'll be in Ireland. That's crazy. Doing laundry for the day, and of course, classic. So cute. We're on the way, another classic wife workout. It's chest day for me. What are you gonna work on? My face. Face workout? Okay, honestly, we're too tired for a workout today, but we did it anyway because we're driven. Here, you wanna feel that tricep again? It's got a pretty good pump. Chiefs and Falcons. Woo! What did I do today? Man, I got blind on a study spree. I studied so much today. It was kind of funny, like the beginning of that textbook was like really hard. <laughs> and then it was like two chapters of like really easy stuff. And I was like, nice. So that was sweet. Um, the workout was awesome. I'm really loving the hypertrophy workout. Like just getting into it lately. As I show my like tiny skinny arm, <laughs> no muscle on it. <laughs> but man, it's good. Good pump. Chiefs versus Falcons. Kirk Cousins. One and two. Oh my gosh. Cat auto feeder just went off. It's mayhem every time. Anyway, Kirk Cousins one and two. The petty Vikings fan of me is loving it. I actually wish the best for him, but you know what I mean. It's like, that's what you get. The Vikings are doing good. Uh, <laughs> and then watching this uh, documentary thing about like 
uh, we've been watching a lot of TV lately, but this one's this like guy, he's like his warden of a jail and he's like kind of opening up the jail and kind of letting the people govern themselves in a sense, like the inmates. And it's like fascinating in a lot of ways. Like one, it's fascinating that like so many of these guys, like it seems like they would be like reasonable people if they could just stay away from drugs. And like so many of them are like that. They're like, yeah, when I'm sober, I'm cool. I just don't know anyone that's sober, so I'm not, and I'm in jail. And like, that's so tragic. And then secondly, like, I don't know, man, it's brought up a lot of like curiosity in me and like the sociology of institutionalization because like before this experiment, everything was done before them, for them. So now they're having to like do it the, themselves and they're like so incompetent at the most basic things. And it's like, you're kind of like watching them like relearn how to like, you know, handle responsibilities. It's, it's really interesting, interesting show. Man, back to work tomorrow, five days, and then I'm out of here for 23 days. And then I immediately come back from vacation and work a few days and then back to back Halloween parties, dressing up for Halloween, having Halloween fun. Oh man, the next month is gonna be awesome.